So what else is there for sentient beings to fear? Usually, if you're engulfed in the world, there's always fear because there's competition. As we grow older, people's desire of us is reduced. So that creates a lot of insecurity. People who enjoy their success during the early part of the career, but when they got to the retirement, they felt bad about themselves because they felt like the world was no longer needing them. So there's a lot of insecurity in that. But we should understand that when we study Buddhism, we have a way of overcoming that. When our physical strength is weakened, our spiritual strength grows to compensate for it. Does it make sense? Right? When we can no longer do physical labor, when we are older, where we can make up is our wisdom, our merits. Decades of cultivating merits, now we don't have to use our physical labor to contribute to society, but we use our merits, our wisdom to contribute to society. But the worldly people don't understand that, and they chase after money, they chase after physical power. But at some point, that physical power can no longer provide the security that they need. Therefore, there's always a pursuit of physical power. Physical power is achieved through the physical senses, meaning the worldly security relies on having physical power. By physical power, I mean things that you achieve through your physical senses. For example, like money. You find security in money, that's physical power. You find security in your position, in an organization or society, that's physical power. You find happiness in food, for example, that's physical power. Uh, if your physical power by being a dominant partner in a relationship that you can you know, push your partner around, that's physical power. Physical power increases our egoism because it increases the distinction between object and subject. It increases the distinction between ourselves and others. The greater the divide, the greater the physical power. If you have the same as everybody, then you have limited physical power because you cannot influence other people. So the greater the distinction, the greater the disparity, the greater the physical power one has. The problem with that is physical power leads to power struggle. In order for you to have physical power, you need to have more than your competition. You need to have more than your neighbors or you need to have more than your adversary. If you lose your physical power, then fear takes over. So that's why there's always a drive to increase your physical power in order to not have fear. Therefore, physical power leads to endless fear, leads to endless power struggle. But the good thing about competition in physical power is that it leads to advancement, advancement in technology. You want to outdo your competition. It leads to advancement, which is good. You want to provide better service so that you can outdo your competition. You want to sell at a lower price to outdo your competition, which is good. It brings affordability. It brings advancement. But the problem with that on the darker side of that is it can lead to destruction because of this power struggle and fear. So you are making advancement not because you are interested in making life better, but you are interested in eliminating your competition, our fear. So that's negatives and positive, but the negatives outdo the positive. There's always fear involved. And when you have fear, you want to eliminate your competition. So that's the worldly insecurity. On the contrast, there is spiritual fearlessness. And that is understanding the voidness of absolute being and the ultimate non-reality of the very distinction between object and subject, between self and others, and becomes a castle because it protects us against fear itself. Physically speaking, castle is the safest place to be. Spiritually speaking, the castle is the understanding of voidness, of absolute thing or conditionality, because it protects us against fear itself. Having this understanding is the castle itself, the best protection, the safest place to be. Mm -hmm.